Hello, I'm Herzl Laor. I was a tank electrician in uh, such tanks uh, during the Yom Kippur War. Uh, these are actually M48 uh, tanks that were the main number of tanks in the Israeli military during the Yom Kippur War. Uh, this tank were cut into half so it's uh, possible to see the insides without actually getting into uh, the tank. Um, what you see here is for example this is a, a, a tube that would hold um, a round for the gun. Um, here is the, uh, the gunner and you can see all the hydraulic uh, uh, equipment that actually uh, move the turret and the, uh, the gun and aim it uh, onto the target. Uh, just behind the gunner you can see uh, a mechanical trajectory uh, calculator that correct for um, uh, the ballistics of the, uh, the gun uh, and it's totally mechanical uh, thing that work with hydraulic system to correct uh, uh, the course of the trajectory. Uh, standing behind the gunner is the tank commander. Uh, he's looking through uh, opening a turret and he can, he can actually sit there as a small seat there but uh, uh, and, the, and close the, the cover, which they rarely do. Uh, <clears throat> in, in, behind the, the commander, you can see the hydraulic uh, motor that actually rotates uh, the, the turret. Uh, here below, uh, in the floor, see ammunition uh, boxes and, and also uh, uh, under the turret, there is the uh, battery compartment. Uh, this, I think, it's it's a power regulator for the. No, this is a battery. It's a cut cutaway of a battery. Uh, behind, you can see uh, the uh, radio, communication radio. And uh, this is still part of the turret that rotates with the turret. Uh, down below you can see uh, the engine that drives the car, the, the, the tank. Uh, it can be uh, replaced if, if damaged within um, about half an hour, 15 minutes to remove and 15 minutes to uh, put uh, a new one, connect it and uh, drive away. Uh, we did several replacements uh, during the war when engines had problems. What type uh, of problem usually had? Uh, usually they get uh, bad because of uh, ingesting uh, dust or, or sand uh, and, and eroding the internal parts. Uh, this is uh, the final um, uh, uh, mov motion conversion which reduces the speed, the rotational speed and create a very high power, uh, slow speed motion for the tracks. Uh, you can see here cooling, uh, uh, air, cooling air uh, and exhaust air uh, exit. Uh, here you can see uh, the uh, uh, tank, tank for, for the uh, diesel uh, engine oil or uh, engine uh, diesel fuel. fuel and it's a shaped uh, 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 tank so the engine fit exactly with about one inch uh, space between the engine and, and the tank. Uh, this is the, 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 the uh, place where the power is connected from the engine to the uh, tracks and you can see here the fast connecting you can just open this screw and this uh, uh, clamp opens up and the engine can be uh, separated from the trucks. <coughs> Here is uh, uh, a breathing air for the engine. It's coming from the turret because when, it, when the tank fires, there's a lot of uh, noxious gases inside the turret that can actually kill people. 
uh, the air is uh, taken from the inside of the turret into um, uh, air filters that are uh, just outside there. Uh, when the tanks arrived uh, in Israel, the air filter was made of aluminum, and when it was hit uh, by small ammunition, uh, there will be holes in it, and dust would or actually uh, sand would get into the engine. Uh, later, the Israeli military replaced it with uh, steel encased uh, filters that um, are much more protected against small ammunition. And from here, the uh, air would come into the engine uh, to supply air. Uh, this just, is uh, 